Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I have already shown you how to design this user control that is phone stock. So if you have not watched my previous video, then please watch my previous video. I have already put the link for that video in the description or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to backend code for this form, how to load data inside this data grid view. Okay, so let's start with that. Let me close this first and after this move back to our user control here we have so what i want is when i click on that stock button this data grid view needs to be filled with the data and when i click on each row that data needs to be filled inside these levels individually okay so how to do that for that we have to code we have to fill this data grid view on this user control enter event okay so when i click on that stock button we are entering inside this user control okay so right click on this go to properties and click on this right click on the empty space so that you select the user control after this you have to just click on this event and here you have to find the enter event here you can see this this is the enter event just double click on this and this will generate enter event you can observe that uc underscore stock underscore enter so here what we have to do is we have to actually make one object of the function class because I'm going to use that In previous video I have already shown you which method actually this function class contain okay okay so this is actually colon like this so let me show you this function class once again so these method actually my function class contain so I'm going to use one of these that is get data because I'm going to extract the data and going to set that data into the data grid view. Okay, so move back over here. And after this, we need a variable that is of a string type. That is nothing but the query. And let me move back over here on the iter event. And here, what we have to do is we have to write the query is equal to we need all the data of new phones. So select star from new mobile now our query is ready we need only all the data from the new mobile table so i have written the query over here and now we have to actually call the method that is function dot get data and in this we have to pass the query because it's expecting one query sorry string type variable so one argument that is query and this method is going to return some data let me just show you here you can see this in the get data it actually expect one argument and this is of the return type data set so it's going to execute that query on the database and whatever the data it get it is stored inside the data set and that data set object is being returned over here so we have to store that data set somewhere for that i'm going to create a data set object over here data set variable ds equals function dot get data and now we have the data inside this after this what we have to do is we have to set that into the data grid view so let me see the data grid view name over here so this is the data grid view and this data grid view name is gonna to data grid view one so we have to write this gonna to data grid view one this one dot data source is equals ts dot tables ts is the data set and in this the data is stored in the form of tables and for now we have only one table that's why the table name is zero now start this and let's see if that filled with the data or not new mobile is actually the table name in the database Just click on this and click over here you can see this now our data is filled inside this so now what i want is when i click on this these all label needs to be set with the company name this one is samsung this one is g7 pro when i click on this the next will be assigned to that for that we have to code on this data grid to self click event okay so let me just close this and move back over here right click on this data grid view just go to properties click on this and we have to just search for cell click this one just double click on this and this will generate a cell click event before going over here before coding over here what we have to do is we have to change the label names for now so this one is the company so we have to change the label so that we can uniquely identify because with the numbers we cannot identify which one is actually this one and this one and this one okay so we have to change the name 
So let me change this one to company label like this. This one to model label. This one to price label. Sorry, RAM label. This one to internal label. This one to expandable. This one to display. This one to rear. This one to front. This one to fingerprint. And this one to same. This one to network. And change this one to price. Okay, so now our labels, the name of these labels are changed now. Now we have to code over here for that. So first thing, what I need is, when I click on a particular row, we need the ID of that, so that we can extract only that data and we can show that data over here. So how to do that? For that, I'm going to write one query. So first we have to extract that value. Let me take one variable over here. So I'm going to take this PID. This is the ID we are going to extract when I'm going to click on that row. So I'm going to check that if that contains some data or not. So data could be one dot rows and then this e dot row index. And after this, you have to write cells. And then this e dot column index dot value is not equals null. It means that we are going to check that if it's null or not. And after this, what we have to do is what we have to do is we have to assign the value to this variable that is bid and when I click on that, that value is going to be in the form of a string. So we are going to convert that into the integer type. So for that, we have to write int dot parse. And in this, we have to write that statement. So we have to extract that from the Kuna to data grid view dot rows e dot row index dot cells. We need this value of the column first that is the zero and convert that value to string like this okay so now let me just add a breakpoint over here and let's see that if this works or not so start this and what is the cell zero is okay so we get some error over here so let me start this once again let's see it works or not okay so some error is still over here so this one is bid3 i have clicked on the bid3 okay so i'm going to continue this here you can see this the three is already selected so i'm going to click on this four so when i click on this so we'll find the bid is four this is actually the id which we are going to get from this actually the first column and this one is the fourth row so that B8 is we are going to get over here. So let me just stop this and now this code is perfectly working fine. So now what I want is we need to extract that data from that. Uh, we need to extract the data of that ID from the database. So we have to write one query over here. So query will be, let's just write that. Select star from new mobile 
where MID is equals BID. Okay. So it's a, actually the ID is in the integer format. That's why I've used this double quotes only. I haven't used the single quotes over here because that's the format to write the string. So this query will perfectly fine. I'm going to use that data set. DS is equals function dot get data. And in this, we have to pass the query. Now, let me just mark a breakpoint over here and let me just start this. And let's see what happens when I click on the, any of this stuff. Okay. I'm going to click on this too. Okay, sorry, three. When I click on this, let's check the data set, what data set actually contains. So you can see this MID is three, Micromax, and we have all the stuff. So first thing what we have to assign to the variable is the company name. So I'm going to assign that. This is the zero through and this is one is the first column. At the zero zero, we have the ID zero through and this one is the zero column. This one is zero through and this one is zero. And after that, this one is one, first column. So we have to assign the zero one at the first place. So let me just stop this and just let me remove this breakpoint. And after this, we have to assign that value to, we have named that company label and there we have to assign the text dot text is equals and we have to assign that from ds dot tables dot rows sorry table zero dot rows and we have zero row and one column dot and we have to convert that to string like this and after this we have model Label dot text is equals ds dot tables zero dot rows zero rows and we have the second column okay and we have to convert this into two string after this we have ram label dot text Okay, so we have some error over here. Okay, so that's not an error. D is dot tables and we have zero dot rows. Make sure you write the proper row and column order. So we have three dot two string. And let's see if that works or not for now. And after that, I'm going to add all the main content. Just click on this. And click on this and you will find here you can see this we can actually edit inside this but this will not save inside the database so let me leave that for now and here you can observe this now this label is set with the text when I click on that row here you can observe this okay so how to remove this actually we have to make this uh, directed view editable false so how to do that for well, that just go to properties and you have to change the style. Few thing you have to change. Let me just search for that. Edit mode. Just change this one to edit programmatically. Now start this and let's see if that works or not. Click on this and now I'm going to just double click on this and we cannot edit anything. Now it's working fine. And here you can see this on the basis of click. The data is being changed so now the thing is perfectly working fine now we have to set for the all remaining levels so let me do that move back to our designing part and there we have to put for internal level dot text is equals ds dot tables dot rows and we have zero and have four column dot two string and after this we have external label sorry expandable labels dot text 
is equal to ch dot table zero dot rows zero and subscribe dot two string. After expandable, we have display display label dot text is equal to ts dot tables zero dot rows and we have to enter six over here and convert this one to two string. After this display, we have rare dot text is equals ds dot tables zero zero and this one has to be seven dot two string and after rear we have actually front After front, we have fingerprint, finger label dot text equal ds dot tables zero dot rows zero nine dot two string. After finger, we have sim dot text equals ds dot tables. We have to write 11 over here. Move this one to two string. After network level, we have price at last. Price level dot text is equals ds dot tables zero. Dot rows and this one to be zero. And we have to put 12 over here dot two string. And now the work is done over here. Now let me start this and let's see if that works or not perfectly fine. Okay, so we have added the colon over here. So let me put this one. So we'll start this. Go to stock. And here you can observe this. I'm going to click on this. When I click on this, now everything is assigned properly. And it's looking nice okay so when i click on this the thing is changed on the basis of the click here you can observe triple sim dual sim everything is being changed so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to design for this customer record so if you have not subscribed my channel till now then please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you keep updated with our new content and please share with your friends and watch this video as much as you can thanks for watching